हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ श्वेता कुलकर्णी फ्रॉम फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंट जेएसएस कॉलेज इन दिस क्लास टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक सेमीकंडक्टर डायोड सेमीकंडक्टर मींस पीएन जंक्शन डायोड अंडर फॉरवर्ड बैस एंड अंडर अ रिवर्स बैस कंडीशन बिफोर दैट just have a glance of a previous session types of a semiconductor intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductor intrinsic means pure semiconductor no impurities are added number of the electrons are equals to number of the holes conductivity is with the help of a heat energy means thermal conductivity takes place extrinsic semiconductor to increase the conductivity we add the impurities the process of adding of the impurities is known as doping and the material is known as a dopant two type of the material doping material pentavalent and trivalent in extrinsic semiconductor number of the electrons are not equals to number of the holes again two types in the extrinsic n type and p type n negative electrons to make the more number of the charge carriers as the electron we add the pentavalent impurity five valence electron due to this number of the electrons are greater than number of uh, holes means majority charge carriers are electrons and minority charge carriers are holes in n type semiconductor in a p type semiconductor p positive and holes to make more number of the holes we add trivalent impurity three valence electrons are added due to this number of the holes are greater than number of the electrons it indicates majority charge carriers are holes and minority charge carriers are electrons in p type semiconductor also we discuss p n junction and formation of the p n and n junction today we discuss semiconductor diode a semiconductor diode is basically a pn junction with metallic contacts provided at the ends of an application of an external voltage p and n side metallic contact to this metallic contacts only we can apply the external voltage symbolic representation of the diode here this bar indicates n and triangle base indicates p p and n junction metallic contact ge now external power supply kodtevi another point here indicates direction of arrow indicates uh, the direction of a conventional current this arrow indicates conventional current direction next point semiconductor under forward bias and reverse bias what is that biasing we already discuss application of external voltage is known as biasing how we apply this external voltage to this p and n side external voltage p mat n side ge yav type na va kodtivi adrad base male forward bias matte reverse bias anta differentiate madidvi first we discuss about the forward bias p n junction diode under forward bias condition first definition when an external voltage v is applied across a semiconductor diode such that p side is connected to positive terminal of the battery 
n side is connected to negative terminal of the battery according to second diagram as shown here this p side connected to positive n side is connected to negative this condition such type of the biasing is known as a forward bias p side to positive n side to negative now the important point is here when i apply an external voltage like p side to positive and n side to negative what happens to the depletion region in the first diagram width of the depletion region at this much when i apply the external voltage width of the depletion region decreases after forward biasing depletion region width is to be decreases why this depletion region width is decreases what happens what process is it takes place in the depletion region for the applied voltage now the point is here this direction of the applied voltage is opposite in the inbuilt potential v not as a result width of the depletion region decreases and barrier height also decreases or reduces applied voltage v in this form barrier potential v not in this form what is that barrier potential barrier potential is nothing but potential generated in depletion region depletion region nodaga potential generate agirudakka in built potential illa barrier potential anta karithivi when applied voltage is opposite to the v not decreases in the region and barrier height also decreases diagrammatic representation of the barrier height first one second one third one decreases in their height what happens when this applied voltage is in the opposite direction first point due to applied voltage electrons from n side crosses the depletion region reaches to p side similarly holes from p side cross the junction and reaches the n side this process under forward bias is known as minority carrier injection as here p and n side p side connected to positive n side connected to negative when apply in this form first point p means majority carriers are whole n means majority charge carriers are electron negative side is connected to n positive side is connected to p point what it says electrons moves from n side to p side okay electron move from n side to p side why it is to be moving electron antandre negative p ga positive now supply kottivi positive negative opposite charges opposite charges movement agodu antandre yav type of the charge carriers movement aatu n side olaga electrons majority irodaka majority charge carriers movement aatu same thing holes moving from p side to n side holes positive at to n side negative terminal is connected positive and negative attraction takes place so holes are moving from p side to n side means majority charge carriers are start moving at the end one point they mention here injection of the minority carriers means minority carriers are injected what is the meaning of that one when this electrons are moving from n to p and holes from p to n now the point at the p side 
holes are majority electrons are minority at the end electrons are majority holes are minority illiro electrons ee kade band accumulate aga kattittu antandra p side olaga minority carriers accumulate aatu inject aatu same thing holes are moving from p to n and accumulated at the n side means minority carriers are injected point is clear electrons movement aatu n side to p side antandre p side olaga electrons minority avu accumulate aatu n side olaga holes minority avu accumulate agakke start aatu so they named it as an minority carriers injected generally motion of the majority carriers majority carriers movement agakattu yav type of the motion diffusion process movement aatu yav type of the current generate aatu diffusion current due to majority carriers and due to this resistance is a less next point the injected electron on p side diffuse from the junction edge of a p side to other end likewise injected holes on n side diffuse from the junction edge of the n side to other side due to this current increases now the point is here what happens same p and n positive and negative due to this electrons from n to p holes from p to n sorry holes from p to n when these emitted electron or moved electron from n to p side instead of accumulating at the depletion region they are accumulated at the other end same thing this moved holes instead of accumulating at the depletion region they moved at the other end of the junction due to this depletion region thickness is to be reduces once again i will explain the three points when we apply an external voltage p side connected to positive n side connected to negative due to this electrons means majority charge carriers from n side to p side start moving holes majority charge carrier move from p side to n side it indicates at the p side electrons are accumulating means minority carriers are injected same thing holes are accumulated in the n side means minority carriers are injected these injected charge carriers instead of accumulating towards the depletion region they accumulated at the ends of the p and n side due to this depletion region thickness is to be reduces positive p side negative n side ge connect maadi irodrinda electrons n side to p side holes p side to n side movement aatu ಈ ರೀತಿ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ಸು ಡಿಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಹತ್ತಿರ ಅಕ್ಯುಮ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಆಗೋ ಬದಲು ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಅಕ್ಯುಮ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಆಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಎಡ್ಜಸ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಅಕ್ಯುಮ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಡಿಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಥಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ಸು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಯಿತು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜನ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ we already known diffusion current is more and it is of the order in terms of few 
milli ampere and the direction here diffusion to other and diffusion to this point injection of the electron injection of the holes three points are clear under the forward bias forward bias p side to positive n side to negative now come to about the barrier height shown in the diagram 1 2 3 first one barrier height is at the level 1 without battery without any external power supply when i apply the low voltage battery when i increase the potential majority charge carriers are moving from p side to n and n side to p due to this depletion region thickness reduces means potential height reduces to level 2 again if i increase the voltage to the high value high battery supply same thing again the charge carriers are moving very fast due to this depletion region decreases barrier height also decreases from this we came to know that motion of the majority charge carrier is depends upon the external voltage as the voltage increases depression region thickness decreases and barrier potential means barrier height also decreases now come to the reverse bias what happens to the reverse bias first it's a definition what the definition it says when an external voltage v is applied across a semiconductor diode such that p side is connected to negative terminal and n side is connected to positive terminal of the battery p side connected to negative n side connected to the positive now absorb the two diagram about a, its a depletion region before biasing before any external power supply when external power supply connected according to reverse bias thickness of the depletion region increases why this thickness of the depletion region increases we discuss now the point is here the direction of the applied voltage is the same as the direction of the barrier potential due to this width of the depletion region increases and barrier height also increases forward bias applied voltage barrier voltage ge opposite to but in the reverse bias applied voltage is along the direction of the barrier voltage due to this depletion region thickness increases and barrier height also increases what happens why this thickness is to be increases the first point what it says when electric field is applied when electric field direction of the junction is such that electrons on a p side to n side and holes on n side to p side start moving in their motion come close to the junction due to this depletion region thickness increases this drift process takes place and current value is very small in terms of the few micro ampere explain it here p side connected to negative n side connected to positive in the forward bias motion of the majority charge carriers takes place but in a reverse bias motion of the minority charge carriers takes place 
how it is to be now come to the point p means majority whole minority electron n majority electron minority hole illa neevu negative supply kottiri antandre ill electrons a p side to n side movement aago badli they sustain in the p side only same thing sorry explain it wrongly p means holes are majority instead of moving from p to n they sustain in the p side only same at the n majority are electron instead of moving from n to p they sustain in the p n side only holes and electrons if they are not moving from p to n means majority charge carriers are not moving means then which type of the charge carriers are moving as minority carriers are moving how it is to be there now come to the point p side minority are electron n side minority are hole electron means negative means this positive side is connected to n positive negative attracted to each other then these electrons are moving from n to p same point at the n side minority are whole means positive negative supply is connected to p this hole is moving from n to p now the important point this moved minority carriers from n to p instead of accumulating at the edge they are accumulated at the depletion region only due to this the depletion region thickness is to be increases forward bias olage enagittu movement agiro charge carriers depletion region olage accumulate aago badli edges olage accumulate aatu reverse bias olage enattu movement agiro charge carriers at the depletion region olage accumulate aagodrinda thickness of the depletion region is to be increases and the process is drift process and generated current is drift current it is of the order few micro ampere one important point is here to transfer the minority charge carrier requirement of the voltage is very small so this stated as in the reverse bias to transfer the charge carriers the generated current is essentially voltage independent andre charge carrier movement agodakke voltage less requirement irodakke avaru generally voltage independent anta stated madidru ki the diode reverse current is much not depend upon the applied voltage even though small voltage is a sufficient to movement of the charge carriers now you got the clear idea about the reverse bias reverse bias p side connected to negative n side connected to positive minority carriers movement takes place diffusion process diffuse sorry drift process drift current small value microampere now come to iv characteristic of the pn junction diode it is a important one because you draw this graph in your practical section also in this iv characteristic mainly 2 to 3 points are there this graph for the forward bias and its graph for the reverse bias first come to forward bias according to forward bias graph x axis voltage 
y-axis current in terms of milli ampere now initially as y go on increase the voltage current remains zero one particular voltage there is a sudden rise up in the current value this particular voltage is known as a threshold voltage the diode current increases exponentially and our forward bias even for a very small increase in the diode biasing voltage this voltage is known as a threshold voltage now the point why at this particular voltage only the current is to be increases current yak increase atu point is here as we increases the voltage depletion region decreases again if i increase the voltage depletion region decrease one particular voltage the collapse of the depletion region takes place andre voltage hechi aakonto danga depletion region kadimi aakonto bantu one particular voltage ge depletion region collapse aatu andre p and n junction na eradu join aitu at that point majority charge carriers are suddenly move from p to n and n to p due to this sudden rise up in their particular voltage ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಂದಿರ್ಬೋದು ಮೆಜಾರಿಟಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರ್ತಾವ ಅಂದರೂ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಕಿಲ್ಲ ಝೀರೋ ತೋರಿಸೈತಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಓಕೆ ಫೈನ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಝೀರೋ ಮೈ ಈ ಒಂದು ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ ದ ವೆರಿ ನೆಗ್ಲೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ only when it reaches to the threshold voltage we get a sudden rise up in their current value point is clear forward bias olaga voltage increase adanga depletion region kadimi aatu one particular voltage ge depletion region collapse aagi p and n junction join aadukole ella majority charge carriers suddenly movement aagoke start aginda sudden rise up in the current bandu uh, corresponding voltage ge threshold voltage anta karidvi now come to the reverse bias condition what happens to the reverse bias condition in this reverse bias the graph shows instead of a zero there is a small value in the current and increases and become constant and corresponding current is known as the saturation current fine why we are not getting the zero value because as i already said in the reverse bias for the movement of the minority charge carriers requirement of the voltage is very small so they stated as under reverse bias essentially it is voltage independent due to this current is very small voltage independent irodakka minority carriers easily movement age small amount of the current to generate madu sambandha current zero irangilla there exist a small amount of the current value and when this applied voltage reaches the critical reverse bias voltage that critical reverse bias voltage is known as the breakdown voltage what is that breakdown voltage what happens now the point when applied voltage is increases depletion region thickness also increases again i increases the voltage again the depletion region increases because of movement of the minority charge carrier when applied voltage it reaches to your the breakdown voltage breakdown voltage ge reach adre what happens minority carriers movement aagtirutha p side to n n side to p side 
ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಏನಾದರೂ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ಡೌನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ರೀಚ್ ಆದಮೇ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆಲ್ ದ ಮೈನಾರಿಟಿ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎನ್ ಟು ಪಿ ಸೈಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೈನಾರಿಟಿ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಯಾಚುರೇಷನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆದಂಗೆ ಡಿಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಹಾಕೊಂತ ಬಂತು ಡಿಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಮೈನಾರಿಟಿ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗೋಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ಕೊಂತ ಬಂತು ಅಗೇನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂತ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂತ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ಡೌನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ರೀಚ್ ಆದ್ವಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಬರೋಷ್ಟೊತ್ತಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮೈನಾರಿಟಿ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಎನ್ ಟು ಪಿ ಪಿ ಟು ಎನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೈನಾರಿಟಿ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ರೀಚಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ಡೌನ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ go on increases when it reaches to break down current reaches the maximum value and become constant voltage apply madirodu break down voltage reach aatandra current gradually increase aakonta aakonta maximum value reach aagi alle constant ulitu saturate aatu and corresponding current is known as the saturation current and corresponding voltage is known as the breakdown voltage now another important point even though if i increases the voltage current is not changes become constant then what happens to extra added voltage this extra increase voltage it get lost in the form of the heat it causes the damage of the diode voltage increase maadkont hodri current olage innu changes aaglilla constant ulitu antandra increase maadiro voltage heat form olage discharge agutta idrindagi diode damage ago possibilities irutta so carefully we handle the diode under the reverse bias condition one now list out the difference between forward bias and reverse bias first point forward bias p side connected to positive n side connected to negative in reverse bias p side connected to negative n side connected to the positive second point forward bias motion of the majority charge carriers takes place reverse bias motion of the minority charge carriers takes place third point forward bias carrier motion is potential dependent means voltage dependent reverse bias minority carrier motion is essentially independent of the voltage fourth point diffusion process means charge carriers under a diffusion process takes place reverse bias motion of the charge carriers under a drift process takes place forward bias diffusion current is generated reverse bias drift current is generated forward bias generated current is of the order few milli ampere reverse bias generated current is of few micro ampere now you got the differences between forward and the reverse bias they may ask the question for the three marks list out the difference between forward bias and reverse bias for the 3 marks thank you